Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Green Hell. And we have some jerks out here uh, that are causing some issues. I'm not sure if that's a scout or what it is. I do not have anything to fight him with because I took my bow uh, off to, you know, um, deal with weight issues while I was moving around mud. All right, so I'm going to try and grab the bow really quick. All right. Beautiful. And let's see if we can headshot this guy like we did the last one. Uh, where is he? There he is. Okay. All right, buddy. Here we go. Wow. Dude, I am a freaking killer. I am a mother effing killer. I'm going to go back and get my arrow. Okay. What are you doing here, jerk? Get out of here. What is he, like their pet? Are they working together, these two jerks? All right. I'm trying not to curse as much, so I'm going to use... You hear the word jerk a lot. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Uh, 31%, 32%. 41%. Wow. Okay, I'm thinking he might have attacked the metal arm. The metal arm I had. Yeah, it's, it's not it's not an arm in um it's not an arm in metal armor. It's a metal arm. So yeah, that's awesome. Alright. Blade required. Oh, I don't have a blade, that's why I can't cut him up. Alright, can I please get the uh, arrow back at least? I'm not gonna cut him up. If you eat if you eat you can eat human meat in this game, but it'll it'll make you crazy. There we go. Come on. There we go. Uh, and I could get him for the bones, but eh, whatever. I'm gonna. I've, I've got other things I want to deal with today, so let's do that. Uh, how's my stats looking? Oh, freaking perfect. I love it. All right. So you guys gave me a lot of things to think about in the comment section. Thank you very much for that. First of all, when you make a mold, all right. Once you've made a mold, you can make it over here uh, without having to use the item. Now, it's not really that useful for armor because all you need is a stick, and this thing takes water. So you gotta move the water around just to avoid using a stick. Doesn't seem worth it. But if you're going to make a blade mold, that takes, um, no, the axe mold. If you're going to use a, an axe mold, that took a whole axe. Although, to be fair, the axe doesn't get used up. Um, so you could just leave the axe on the ground. Will the axe on the ground disappear eventually? I don't know. You could probably leave it on a weapon rack. So I don't really see this as overly useful. I'll probably use it just because it's kind of, it's got a cool factor to it. But I don't really see it as overly useful because you got to keep water in there. And, you know, you could just keep a stick lying around or an axe. I don't really think it's that um, that useful. But like I said, I'll use it just because it's pretty cool. But anywho, another thing. Can you chain fire? If I light one of these mud thingies on fire, what are they called? What are they called? Mud thingy, thingy-mabobs? They're under fire. Mud forge? Mud forge? They're under fire. Not, not water cage. Yeah, mud forge. If you light a mud forge, can you use a torch? to light the other mud forges. Um, and if you can, I don't think I want to keep a torch on me. It doesn't seem like uh, worth keeping a, a torch on me at all times. So if if I can light one of these and then have a torch to light the other two, can I just keep a torch on the ground without it disappearing? That's kind of what I'm thinking about with that. That's not going to be today's episode, but that was one thing I was thinking about. All right, so um, I guess we'll just get... You know what? Let's just get our stuff. X... There we go, and we got this. Wait, no, that's not the axe I want. Uh, stone pickaxe, metal axe, that's the one I want. That thing is dope AF. All right, I wrote down some more uh, things here. Once you unlock the moldy, I already talked about that. Uh, okay, so here, here's the deal. All right, here's the deal. I don't like having to like keep all my plants watered over there All right, during the dry season. It's really annoying, like really, really annoying. Someone mentioned in the comments, and they're totally right. We should be able to make bamboo to carry water to where we need it to go. Like take bamboo and like make like water um, irrigation, I guess, and have it go where it needs to go. Someone else had the uh, idea, just build closer to the water. It's a great idea. It's a great idea. As a matter of fact, I might do that today. We'll see. Honestly, I don't really know what I'm gonna do today. You'll, you guys will know, cause I would have already taken the screenshot. But as of right now, I'm not really sure what I wanna do today. I went ahead and made another mud building box thingy over here. Uh, because it's in a better spot and then having to do it over there and I only made one because I was thinking I make two of them because I can carry 12 mud bricks at a time the thing is that doesn't really matter because there's certain steps you have to getting mud all right you pick up the mud you put the mud in there you put you put water in there you put the campfire ash in there you mix it whether you do one at a time or 50 at a time it doesn't matter because you 
mathematically, you are still doing the same amount of things. Uh, so really, you only need one mud mud box, and I probably will not make more than that anymore. But I also want to have a weapon rack near my mud box, so that way when I want to put stuff up here, you know, I can do it, and it'll be in the area. So that's really great. Just trying to be a little bit more efficient. Now, here's the deal. All right, we're gonna we're gonna turn over here into a um, we're gonna turn over here into a uh, a farm basically. Uh, but the thing is, I also want a big platform over here. So I'm not really sure where I'm going to put platforms and where I'm not. Um, I do want to connect frames to this thing, all right, all over the place and just have a nice off-the-ground platform over here, which will be pretty dope. Uh, it'll probably come over one more spot this way, but that'll probably be it. So I think the farm will be right here. Although I'm going to have to think about how I want to do that because I do want the farm to be pretty big. So maybe maybe we won't make a big platform over here. But um, that's not going to be today's episode, but I just want you to know my thought process on that. Um, I was actually going to work over here today and start working over here, but then I have a bad habit of not finishing stuff I start. So in the interest of finishing stuff I've started, I think we're going to continue working over here on this stuff and just kind of, you know, take it from there. All right, that brings you guys up to speed. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish this weapon rack. So let's go ahead and cut down this. Actually, hold on. Seems to be, yeah, it's number three. Okay, great. It should come down really quick. Yeah, three hits. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Okay. So we'll just kind of drop those right there. Pick up these long sticks. By the way, I am not a fan of the millipedes walking on the, the stuff you pick up. I thought at first it was cool. Because it was. But now it's just getting it's just getting annoying. It's just slowing me down. And it's like, it's not a challenge. And, I mean, I guess the challenge is it's going to slow you down. They don't want you building, like, crazy things all the time. But, I don't know. I, I'm not a fan of it. And, I honestly, I think most people aren't. Uh, I thought it was really cool at first. But now I'm just like, all right, that's just... You're just artificially holding me back. All right. So, what we're going to do now is we are going to make ourselves some walls in here. Now, I'm not saying we're going to finish this before we go over there. But I want to do one more solid episode here. Uh... So we can get this just at least farther along. It's going to take too long to finish this. And I want to build a farm over there. So we're going to be building the farm over there soon. Just not this episode. All right. So wall here. Here. Damn it. I wish we would keep the ghost image up there. All right. Beautiful. All right. Let's go out here and get some more sticks. All right, I've got planks sitting all over the place. I know I'm going to need planks at some point. I, I get it, but I'm just going to start burning them because I got them all over the place. I, I can always get more. Um, they're one of the easier things to get. <laughs> so not really a problem. Uh, planks are not going to be an issue. So I'm just going to go ahead and break these. And then go ahead and put them in here. You get quite a bit of wood in there for them. All right, I don't want to break those... Uh, those long sticks so we're gonna take this over here all right well i guess we'll just take the long sticks for now i'd like to get these um these things going more because i'm gonna be i'm gonna need a lot of mud so definitely got to get those things going because we're gonna need the char the campfire ash um for all that mud okay and a little bit more they use some sticks it's fine all right so, you know what? Why don't we why don't we make a torch and see if we could transfer fire? I, you know, I have no idea how to make a torch. I don't think I've ever made one. But I think the game does tell you how to make them. Um, torch. A uh, stick and a rope. Okay. Not a problem. Craft. In some game, torches are really, really hard to make. Because you need, like, items that you don't have. Like, you know, whatever. Whatever items you wouldn't have. Alright, so there's the torch. Alright, so we got a torch. So what I'm going to do is... First of all, uh, we don't have any kindling, but we do keep our kindling in here, which is great. This is a good spot for stuff. I'm gonna take it. Oh, I only need one campfire ash at a time now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like that's a great spot. It's just central area to keep everything. Like it's right in the middle of everything. This um, this base is organically coming together in a way that I'm really, really satisfied with. So, we're going to light the one on the right, see if we can use the torch or transfer it to the other one, and we'll kind of see how that goes. Alright, there's the torch. Um, attack, block, aim, sprint, space. Yeah, I don't... 
If you can, I, I don't know how to do it. Maybe you just can't do it on that thing. All right, let me know. Let me know in the comments if uh, there's a way I could do it that I kind of missed. All right, I can't wait to find out. I want to see if I can use the torch to transfer this. Uh, yep, ignite. There you go. All right, now let's see if we can put it into one of these things. Uh, it doesn't have any fuel, right? So it needs fuel. Okay, fair enough. So let's go ahead and grab some fuel and see if I... Uh, yeah, I want to I see if we can transfer this fire. And I, I know you can. It's just what what can you trans what can you transport it, transport it to and from? You know, it kind of makes sense. You can't transport it from those other things. I'll show you why in a minute. Oh yeah, okay. Well, here you go. Look at that. Well, will you look at that? And I actually have something I would like to cook up in there. I went ahead and made another armor mold. So. Well, that's cool. And I'll bet you I could transport it from this to this. I'll bet you I can ignite it off that. If you can light it with that, you should be able to ignite it off that. So the, the whole idea of these charcoal these charcoal furnaces is they are enclosed. That's what gives it its intense heat, I'm guessing, to make the charcoal. That's why I couldn't use the torch on it to transfer to transfer fire. Kind of makes sense. All right, so we're going to put this in there. Kind of feel like I should be able to put this out, though, if I wanted to. Do I, I think I have another iron to cook. So what I'll do is I'll cook up that mold. Oh, I don't have another iron to cook. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm going to cook up that mold and I'm just going to have to let it burn out because there's not much I can do about it. Uh, so it is what it is. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And let's come over here and continue working. Uh, first of all, let's put this fire out. I'd like to get done with this front entrance today. I'd also like some like standing torch lights or something. Something that would last a while, though, you know? Oh, boy. Hold on. Yeah, some standing torch lights. Some way to get some light out there, but not something I'd have to fill all the time with, like, like stupid resources and stuff. <laughs> you know, like, make, give me a torch light that's going to last, like, a week or something. All right, so this is going to be the entrance right here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and set up our mud stuff. So, um, first thing we're going to need is the doorway. All right, and then we're gonna need. We want all these to be windows. I think I kind of want all these, to, like this whole freaking thing, to be windows. Yeah, I think that will be the case. Yeah, why not? Uh, maybe not this one. Nah, this one too. Just a bunch of windows. I'm not gonna do anything storage here or anything. So, I've got a bunch of freaking dino poop here ready to go um i don't think it's worth like picking up and dragging over here uh, i can get it a little closer but i think at the time it takes you to like stack it up and drag it over here you're better off just doing it this way so this will be great they also need to make it so enemies can't run through your walls and i also i want a fence all right um one of the things that i wanted to do over there when i make the um when i make my place over there is i wanted to put a fence Around my buildings. Now, there's no fences in the buildings. I use other things as fences. Uh, things like rope holders and stuff. Uh, let me see. Uh, what would make a good fit? Yeah, th these actually don't make th don't make halfway bad fences. Also, um, these right here make good fences. The thing is, the enemies run right through them. Uh, because, well, they're not really fences. <laughs> they're just, you know, they're just, uh, they're only in the way uh, in a visual, you know, by a visual standpoint. Uh, they're not really fences, but I would like some kind of fencing to keep them out. I think there's some kind of killer trap I could use, uh, which is like a spike trap. I could probably use that, but, you know. And it's not like I want the fences to be, like, I want fences, and I, I I don't want the fences to be invincible. But I want them, like, like the enemy can attack them and break them down. I got no problem with that. But, hold on. See him right over there. Okay, let's go ahead and save the game. Just in case stuff starts getting real. Um, yeah, let him break through the fences. It's fine. It's just, it'd be nice to have a fence, like some kind of barrier that would at least give me a chance to, you know, prepare myself. Maybe I could use it in some kind of defensive way to kill them too. I don't know, spikes on the other side. Things like that would be pretty cool. Okay, I'm also going to have to decide how I want to do the top floor here. I think I'm going to leave the top floor alone for the time being. Uh, like I said, I want to finish this building. I really do. But it's simply going to take too much time. 
And plus, like, it would be like five or ten episodes. <laughs> it's been a ridiculous amount of episodes. Uh, I think we want to mix stuff up a little bit. I don't want to leave it forever, you know, uh, like I've done in the past sometimes. I've got a bad habit of leaving stuff and just forgetting about it, never doing it. I don't want to leave it forever, but I do think I want to mix it up a little bit and not do the same thing so many times. Uh, you know, so many videos in a row. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to sit at my chair just in case we get into some combat. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is uh, I think next episode I'm planning on probably making the farm over there. And we'll just kind of, you know, see how that goes. But yeah, too much stuff on one thing is not good. It's not good for my my mental capacity. It's not good for you guys to watch because it it's got to be boring, right? Uh, let's go ahead and see what we have in our inventory. We do not. I didn't think so. We do not have any campfire ash. So we will grab some. We're going to take a, we're gonna have to go to sleep pretty soon, too. I'm trying to, like, keep a somewhat halfway decent schedule. But, you know, it's not working for me. Uh, my guy was really tired at, like, 1,800 hours, which is way too early to go to bed. So I went and got some blue mushrooms. And um, he was good after that, but then he wanted to stay up all night. All right, I think we're going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to uh, go ahead and wash up and get some food because I can almost guarantee you our food's looking really bad. Actually, it's not that bad. It's just, it's just water and you could drink water being dirty. It doesn't matter. All right, I guess, I guess we're okay for a little bit longer. Uh, one thing I would like to do though is change the graphics. There we go. All right, it's a little dark, but I think it'll be okay. It's not going to be dark for long. Why don't we go ahead and do some more mud? I'll show you how we do the mud here. Do that. Do that. Put that in. Yeah, this is this is yeah, this is good. I like this. Now let's go ahead and mix it up since we're dirty anyway. You know, it's getting really annoying to have to run all the way over here to get campfire ash. Why don't we just make a chest over here and keep some campfire ash in the chest? We have plenty of room. Uh, I don't really see a reason not to. So let's go ahead and put this right here. Uh, looks like a pretty good spot for it. There we go. Mud brick. We got those. We got those. Wow, this is the easiest chest I've ever made. All right. Now all we got to do is go get the things we need for it. <laughs> I'm also going to put chests across here. I was wondering, like, what do I want to put in here? I would like to put something in here. Um, maybe a campfire as well. Uh, but also chests. Maybe I'll put a campfire in the middle with chests on the side. I'm not really sure. I like chests because they're low to the windows. Anything else I put there, for the most part, will kind of just get in the way of the windows. And that was kind of... That would, that would bother me. So let's go ahead and grab all this campfire ash. And we're also going to grab... Uh, let's just grab a couple stacks of these. Those are those are done burning, so... Yeah, this is, this is working out well. This is working out well. One of the things I like about this game is the... Um, everything's got like a use. So like when you're breaking down wood, like, you know, you're getting wood, uh, wood is good to burn in the charcoal furnace. It's also good for the wood you're using to build with. It's also good for planks, which could be used for like a million different, well, not a million different things, but things like chests or also burning in the, uh, in the charcoal furnace. Uh, the balance in this game is really good. I'm telling you right now, this game is in my top 10 survival games of all time. And if they ever fix the building, it's probably going to go to number three. Like, I really like this game. And as much as I really liked it, I bitch a lot about the building. I, I do. But you know what? It's a good thing. It's a good thing. If uh, Just talking to any developers out there that might be watching or would-be developers or maybe anyone who's just curious on how I look about this kind of stuff or how I think about this kind of stuff. Um, if someone's bitching about your game, it's usually a good thing. Uh, unless they're just trolls and they're just being dicks. But uh, the reason I bitch about this game is because it's so close it's so close i like i if there's a game that like i don't like and it's just it's got so many things wrong with it it's just like i don't bitch about it i just don't play it i don't talk about it i don't play it and that's it okay but with a game like this this game is really close to just being one of the all-time greats and the building is so broken um it might not seem broken because you could play the game i've had people on discord be like I don't know what you're talking about, Cage. I play so long. I don't have any problems with the, with the building. Maybe you got to do this. Or you, maybe you did this wrong. Or maybe you did that wrong. And I'm like, all right. Well, I'm glad it's working out for you. But it's not working out for me. And I'm not doing anything wrong. It's just broken. 
and then I shit you not the same people the next week on Discord will be like, oh my god, I just I was building and I had this huge building and then I I came into a game breaking bug and now I can't build anymore and I'm so mad. And then they're like, I'm gonna go download the build anywhere mod. And then they go download the build anywhere mod and that breaks their save and it's just it's been a nightmare. They need to fix the building. And I'm not gonna download a mod to fix their game because it's it's even though it would help, uh, maybe it wouldn't help, I don't know, but it's not a fix. It's not a fix. They gotta fix their game. Then that's it. All right. So what do we want to put in the middle here? Uh, the big campfire. Uh, that only takes four stone. I thought the big campfire. Oh, the ring. Wait, the ring used to take ten stones, didn't it? I don't know. Uh, so this might this will bring unwanted attention. You know what? You know what? This is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this in here. All right. And we will eventually build it because I don't mind someone unwanted attention. Unwanted attention could make this let's play a lot more exciting for you guys to watch. But I also need to be ready for that unwanted attention. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it right now, but um, I will be building that big fire. Unwanted attention, my ass. Uh, let's put this in like this. All right. So that could go right there and a little bit more over there. All right, it's looking good. And then another one right next to it. Yep, I like that. And then we will mirror that on the other side. I'm also thinking that these chests are probably going to be my armor storage chest for for the time being, because I need to I need to organize my armor. It's kind of all over the place. Um, I don't even know what armor I have and what armor I don't have. All right, hold on. Let's get rid of that and rebuild it to line up with this one. Looks pretty good to me. All right, let's go make let's go make another armor piece. So I want to make another uh, armor piece, and I have it right here, but I wanted to do it with you guys. So harvest that, and oh yeah, two casts. I was like, I supposed to, I supposed to have three. Um, all right, so we got that. Do we have the rope? We do. So we're just going to come over here and grab a banana leaf and make ourselves another piece of metal armor. Beautiful. Uh, I'm loving it. All right. Oh! Scared the shit out of me, bro. Why did that scare me so much? Oh, man. I'm, swing I'm swinging fast, dude. That guy's got no chance. No chance. That's what you got. Hell yeah. All right, let's see if we can not lose this banana leaf. That would be great. All right, awesome. Craft. Damn it. Craft. I think we need two rope and three of these metal armor casts. All right, there we go. All right, so let's see what the armor that is on me is looking like. Um, 24%. 32%. 41, 29, okay. So what was this again? This was 30, 24, okay. So that's the one that's gonna come off. There we go. All right, cool. Let's go Um, Let's go. Uh, finish up those storage containers out front and I uh, organize the armor that we do have. The front entrance is now complete. Let me get these sticks out of the way. These ugly ass sticks. Uh, we'll put those right in here, because why not? All right, let's go look at the entrance, man. This looks awesome. By the way, when I was exploring, um, I found a tribal spear. Uh, durability is 2%. Uh, I think it's when I killed one of them, but I didn't loot them properly. So that is the entrance. Now, this is a fire. I'm not going to light it because, like I said, I do not want to uh, call in any unwanted attention right now. But that is the setup. And these two chests that are in the back, those have my weakest armor. 24%. Uh, 14 and 14, and the ones towards the front have my strongest armor. Uh, this one's empty. So that's the idea for the armor. Am I, is this going to be the permanent place for my armor? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. And I think that brings us to about the end of this video. I'm going to just kind of mess around with this up here. Yeah, see, I could put that there. I could put it there, but I can't put it there. I, I, yeah, I could put it there, too. You know, I could put that there, and then this one here... And just have the entrance like that. That wouldn't be so bad, I guess. 
Can we actually put them both there? That might block the other one. Oh, no, okay. All right, you know, that's not so bad. I prefer to have them coming in from the sides, but I think that's the only way it's going to work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break those down, though. Um, I will only put those in at the last minute. Because who knows, you know, when you build in this game, one day one thing doesn't work and then the next day it does. So we'll just kind of have to see how that goes. All right, either way, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.